Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gear2 if we're here bringing you another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going ahead and doing something that's completely just abstract I guess you could say. Definitely something I would have never built like, you know, willingly or I didn't even know this thing even existed or what this thing even was. It's basically a monstrosity flying like whale monstrosity. I mean I don't even know how to explain it honestly. Uh, apparently this is from the game Half-Life, uh, which is a game series, I think there's like three games or something like that. Uh, and this is referred to as the Combine Gunship, or simply Gunship. And it's a Combine Snipe uh, Assault Aircraft, which basically means that it's made up of living creatures uh, that have been artif artificially altered and augmented with Combine technology. Uh, this ship itself is... Uh, powered by an array of jet engines on the underside and maneuvering using a rear mounted rotor with insect wing like blades uh it's just it's just weird i, I really don't know how to explain it uh it's something that's t t just I, I i don't know i don't know what people were smoking when they made this thing but it's uh it's definitely interesting to say the least anyways uh this was a patreon request by the red deer that's pretty much the only reason why i'm actually uh, building this thing uh, was because it was a Patreon request, so I have to honor the request, obviously. Uh, so, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing and see what we got going on for it. So, uh, starting off with, you have the main gun that's located in the front here. This is referred to as a pulse cannon, I believe. Uh, so, it's interesting right there. It has these dragonfly eyes located right after the gun. You can see these on pretty much both sides here. They're meant to look like dragonfly eyes, uh, so that's what we got going on there. Got a little bit of an intake right here, and you'll see on the bottom here that's got like a blue and white kind of color scheme going on. And it was my attempt to try to create the organic uh, looking body the bottom of this has. It's by far not anywhere like perfect or anything like that, but it was uh, very complicated to try to create that uh, organic looking belly. So I went ahead and just did the best I could. This is what I pretty much came up with on the bottom there. Uh, you have these little, uh, as I mentioned, like kind of like insect-like blades on either side there, uh, and then also on the back here, there's a, a set on each side there. And here's the big uh, rotor I was kind of talking about. This I guess is used for maneuverability for it. Uh, so again, pretty interesting uh, all around there. Uh, but that's pretty much the vehicle. It's uh, definitely a very weird and uh, unique one. But I mean, I guess you know it's unique, something different. So. Uh, you know, it's pretty interesting nonetheless. Anyways, that's going to do it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial where we start off with layer 3. And uh, we'll be doing my half off camera, half on camera just to make this build a little bit easier for me to get through. And um, yeah, so with that, let's go ahead and start off with uh, layer 3. So as you can imagine with layer 3, this is going to be uh, a few blocks kind of up from, you know, our, our very bottom layer. So we're going to have a total of two blocks that would be under this for clearance that we need for this uh thingy this uh aircraft i don't know what you want to call it uh but yeah you will need uh two more blocks of space underneath this to fully uh fit the build so if you have this thing flying close to the ground or anything that might obstruct it make sure that you have at least two blocks of space here probably even more would be better from bottom the bottom of this layer to basically the uh, bottom of whatever you have this thing close to anyways to uh, get started here we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a long row here of nether brick uh, top slabs. So for this, we're going to place down a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 nether brick top slabs, which are going to be the front of the pole scan. After we have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick full block, followed by a second stone brick full block, two polished data site blocks, we're going to skip a space, place down a light blue uh, stained glass block, followed by a quartz full block, a second quartz full block, and then a third, and then we're going to place down an upside down quartz there, come off that row 3 there, of course, full blocks. With that done, we're going to go ahead and move to the sides here. So we're going to go ahead and go to this stone brick full block here. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on the side here of it. We then want to grab ourselves a stone brick stair. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on this, the side here of this uh, stone brick full block, followed by a sign coming off the front of the stair. After you have that done, we're then going to place down a stone slab, followed by a stone top slab after it like so. With that done, we're then going to place down a nether brick upside down stair next to this light gray stained glass block or uh, light blue uh, stained glass block followed by another upside down stair coming off of like that to kind of create our dragonfly eyes and then uh, lastly for this section here we're just going to place our quartz stairs one and two just like that along those first two quartz full blocks 
Now, with that finished, uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, placeholder blocks, which we'll be uh, using for this section here. Uh, preferably, you know, some kind of wool or something that's easy to stand out. Make sure you know to, to, to uh, delete it later on. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go for this quartz stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a uh, row of three of uh, whatever placeholder blocks you're using out, just to kind of visually show us how far we need to go out in spacing. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz top slabs. We're going to place down one and two course top slabs this could be the same thing again on both sides here and we can delete those placeholder blocks now with that finished we'll need to grab ourselves a spruce wood slab and also some sandstone slabs we're going to go and place down a spruce wood slab kind of coming off this uh, row two of course slabs there at an angle and then we want to go ahead and go down a block and place down a sandstone row two of sandstone half slabs so you get something that looks like that and again this is kind of part of the outer uh, skeleton here or the outer shell so if you want to uh, do one solid color uh, this is where you'll start to do it or if you want to do the camo pattern I have uh, you'll just do this or if you want to alternate it you'll feel free to go crazy with that uh, so that's what we want to do with that so currently we have something that looks like this in the front here of course we did the right side here and you'll copy over the what we did on the right side over to the left side so with that done we can go ahead and grab ourselves our uh, place our blocks again we'll just grab some magenta wool again nice easy to see from this stair right here, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, and 5 placeholder blocks. We then want to grab ourselves a polished data set block. We're going to place down a polished data set block like so after that row of 5. Followed by a light, bruce, light blue stained glass block like that. And then another polished data set block. Uh, we can then go ahead and delete this uh, row of 5 here of magenta wool as we won't need it anymore. On either side of this light, gray, uh, or this light blue stained glass block, we're going to place down a polished data set block. Followed by a cobblestone wall on the basically these corners here, these polished asset blocks, so like just like that. With that done, uh, this cobblestone wall right here, we're going to place down a quartz full block that comes off of it. Followed by a second quartz full block like so. Coming off the inner quartz full block, we're going to place down one and two top slabs going toward the front. We then want to place down a quartz top slab coming off of this uh, quartz full block. So you get something that kind of looks like that on both sides there. With that finished, on this uh, outer block here, this quartz full block, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four uh, blocks back, followed by a quartz upside down stair, like so. We want to go ahead and go to this uh, cobblestone wall right here. We're going to place down a quartz top slab coming off of it that connects up to this quartz full block, or this quartz, uh, yeah, full block right here. And you should have this little gap of one in that section right there. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves some nether brick full blocks and also some nether brick stairs. On the uh, second uh, quartz full block here, on the side here, we're going to place down a nether brick upside down stair, followed by one and two quartz full blocks and another upside down quartz stair like that. Uh, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and skip a space of one here from this cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a total of one, two, three, and four quartz uh, top sides back. We're going to place down a quartz top sab in the middle, so we should have these like, two rows of four here. Quartz top sab in the middle, and then we're just going to go back two more quartz top sabs. And then on this very out, uh, outer one, we're going to place down a quartz top side on both sides uh, like that. So you have kind of like this U shape right here that kind of comes out and goes into a T. Uh, with that done, go into this uh, top sab right here. Uh, we're going to place down one, oops, my bad, uh, one, two, uh, and three more out. So basically you have a row of uh, nine right here of quartz top sabs. We then want to go ahead and go down and at an angle here and place down one and two quartz top sabs like that coming down from that row of nine like so. So if we go ahead and take a look at this from above, we should have something that looks just like that. If you want to go and take a moment, pause to make sure that you guys have everything, uh, you know, calculated and counted out right, then uh, feel free to go ahead and do so. But anyways, once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and uh, move down to our lower layers, which is going to take us to uh, layers uh, one and two, in which we're going to go ahead and basically put the bottom stuff on that we need to and uh, all that stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to uh, layers one and two. Alright guys, so moving on to layers 1 and 2. For layers 1 and 2, we don't have a whole lot going on. We're just going to basically expand upon some of the stuff that we've already started and uh, all that. So, just for the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started off by going and building this uh, vent here on the bottom uh, a little bit after the eyes. So, for this, we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair underneath these uh, stairs here on both sides. And then we're going to place down a quartz top slab in between the two upside down stairs. Should be in the center. Looks something just like that. And... Um, everything like so after you have that done after this uh half slab right here we're gonna place down two top slabs back so it should be on the bottom of uh these two quartz full blocks right here we're gonna place down two quartz top slabs and then underneath this stair on both sides we're also gonna place down a quartz top slab 
just like that to go ahead and complete that uh, section up there. The next thing we have to work on is uh, the uh, wings here. These are not too difficult, uh, just again some kind of you know angling here is pretty much all we're really doing. So for this, uh, we're going to go ahead and drop down from what we've already started. I may need to take some looks over here at this one just to make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our uh, blocks and we're going to go ahead and uh, basically start dropping these down, or slabs I should say rather. We're going to place down a uh, sandstone top slab like this, followed by a spruce wood top slab, and then a sandstone top slab just like that. After we have uh, that done, going back and add an angle here, we're going to place down a spruce uh, top slab like so. And then we actually want to drop this down to, to uh, some uh, half slabs here. So uh, we want to go ahead and place down a spruce wood half slab, which is going to go right here. And then we're going to place down a sandstone half slab right there in that section. So you get something that kind of looks like that, dropping down at an angle. After you have that done, we're going to place down another spruce wood slab. Uh, half slab coming off this slab right here, followed by a sandstone half slab back like that. And then lastly, we just want to take a sandstone top slab and drop it down uh, one block. Uh, like so, so one kind of slab level, so it's a top slab like that, and that's going to be the same thing on both sides there, and that's going to kind of create the tips there for your uh, insect like uh, wings or blades, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so with that done, uh, we're, then gonna, we're then going to go ahead and go over to this middle section kind of right around here. We're going to need to grab ourselves some quartz slabs and also some narrow brick slabs. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to these four quartz stairs. The four quartz stairs that are touching these nether brick stairs and the nether brick full blocks. So we're going to place down one, two, three, and four quartz top slabs underneath those full blocks. And then underneath these two nether brick full blocks, we're also going to place down uh, two top slabs of nether brick. And uh, with that done, that's going to do it for that middle section. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, these little thingies that stick out on the back here. So for this, it's kind of similar to what we did up here in the front. We're going to go ahead and just kind of angle this back and have it kind of flow uh, back, I guess you can say. So for this, uh, we're going to go ahead and drop this down, place down a quartz top slab like so. We then want to go ahead and go out in an angle, place down a nether brick half slab, or sorry, that's a top slab. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and go down um, like so, place down two nether brick half slabs going back. Uh, we're then going to go down again, and we're going to place down a nether brick, or a row two of nether brick top slabs, just like that. And once you have that done, we're going to need to grab ourselves a dark oak fence gate. We're going to go and place down a place a block after this top slab right here, and we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate, open up, coming off this half slab, like so. And uh, once you guys have that all finished, that's going to pretty much do it for layers one and two. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layers, uh, yeah, or basically the rest of our uh, build. So uh, layers four and so on. So with that, let's move on to layer four. All right, guys, so moving on to layer four. Now layer four is a layer where we're gonna start to get into a lot of stuff going on. It's uh, gonna start to get a little bit more crazier and basically all the stuff we're gonna be putting down. So uh, pay close attention and you should have uh, no problem really with uh, following along. So what we wanna do to start off with is we're gonna go, and, uh, go to this first uh, stone brick full block that's where this um, row nether brick connects to right here for the pull scan. We're going to place down one more stone brick full block up on top of it, followed by a spruce top slab that comes off of it toward uh, the front. The front of our uh, gunship monstrosity is facing that direction. After this uh, stone brick full block, we're going to place down a row three of polished andesite, followed by a light blue stained glass block. We then want to place down a row of two of quartz full blocks, a light gray stained glass block, Followed by a row of three of quartz full blocks. And this is all down the center line as well. We're going to do the center line and then build out from the sides. Uh, after we have that done, we're going to place down a row of two of quartz top slabs. Followed by two quartz full blocks. A blue stained glass block, which if you had this all right so far, you should be on top of this polished stainless side block with this light gray. Or this light blue stained glass block. We then want to place down a sea lantern. Followed by a light blue stained glass block. Followed by a second one. We're going to go ahead and skip a space of one here. We're going to place down two cobblestone walls, followed by two quartz full blocks, a sea lantern, and a nether brick top slab. And it should, basically, this nether brick top slab should come off uh, the end here by one, and this sea lantern should end right on top of the center quartz top slab there in that row. Uh, so now it's time to go ahead and build off from this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So going ahead and start off in the front here, we're going to go ahead and take a spruce wood stair, upside down stair, we're going to place it down next to this top slab, like that on both sides. Go back from that spruce wood uh, stair, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank, like so. 
We then want to take stone brick half slabs and replace down one and two back. Followed by a stone slab on top of this stone top slab. We then want to take our nether brick stairs and we're going to place down one and two stairs back to back on top of the two upside down stairs. So you get basically the uh, eye shape right there. Uh, with that done, we're going to take light gray or light blue stained glass, place down one, two, and three back. Followed by a quartz full block. Followed by a light blue stained glass block like that. We're going to go ahead and skip uh, a space of two. So basically where these quartz top stabs are. We're going to go back to these quart two quartz full blocks. We're going to place down two cobblestone walls. Followed by one, two, and three uh, light blue stained glass blocks back. Quartz full block. Followed by a second quartz full block. A third, a fourth, and a fifth back. Where they're going to place down a light blue stained glass block. And then we just want to place down a sea lantern like so. And we're going to place down an upside down there brick stair with its back to this top slab there in the center. For our next row over, we're going to go ahead and take a uh, spruce wood top slab. Place it down coming off this uh, spruce wood plank right here. We then want to go ahead and go all the way back here to this uh, row of three of light blue stained glass after the eye right here. We're going to place down a full block of uh, glass coming off the center block right there, that row of three. We then want to take our uh, quartz and uh, we're actually going to take quartz uh, upside down stairs and place it down in this area. And we actually want to swap this full block right up right here out for a upside down stair like that. Anyways, next to this uh, light blue stained glass block, we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair. Followed by a second one after it, like so. Uh, we then want to place down a quartz top slab coming off the stair, like so. And then we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair facing the opposite direction from these stairs, like that. Followed by a quartz full block, like so. And then with that uh, done, we're going to place down a second quartz full block, followed by a third. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four of light gray stained or light blue stained glass. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip a space right in here, uh, and then we're just going to place down two cobblestone walls, so we have that space skipped, and then two cobblestone walls, a quartz full block like this, followed by a light blue stained glass block, followed by a sea lantern, and then we're going to place down another upside down narrow brick stair coming off of this, the front of that stair, like that, on the back here. Uh, moving on over to our next row, uh, we, are we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves some sandstone top slabs. We're going to place down a sandstone top slab coming off this light blue stained glass block uh, after that we're going to go and take quartz full blocks we're going to place down uh, one and two quartz full blocks coming off that slab going toward the back uh, coming off the uh, those full blocks themselves we're going to need to grab ourselves some spruce wood slabs or sorry stairs and also some uh, sandstone slabs and for this we're going to place down a sandstone slab coming off the first block here and then come off the second one on top of this quartz top slab we're going to place down a uh, spruce wood stair like that and then lastly, coming off this, uh, or on top of this sand, this uh, quartz top slab, we're going to place down a sandstone half slab, like so. Uh, so with that finished, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to this section here. So we're going to go ahead and go to this second quartz full block in this row of three right here. Uh, we want to place down a quartz full block uh, coming off of it. So like that, right there in the middle. Uh, we're then going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, and 11 quartz full blocks back like so. And then we just want to place down another narrow brick upside down stair coming off of it for the back there to kind of finish that off. Uh, for the kind of like dragonfly eye on the side here, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair on top of this upside down one like that. Same thing over here on this side. We're going to grab another brick full blocks again and place down a row of two in between the stairs like that. Uh, we also want to grab ourselves some sandstone uh, top slabs and stairs. Uh, we're going to place down a Top slab coming off this last quartz full block like that, followed by one and two upside down quartz stairs, followed by a quartz top slab like so. So basically, once you have that all done, you should have something that looks like this for uh, the basis of it. it. Looks very weird so, so far, uh, but it does get a little bit better. So, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, uh, layer five. All right, guys. So go ahead and move on to layer five again. For layer five, uh, we're gonna have a very kind of uh, crazy layer, a lot of stuff going on and uh, basically just a very long kind of extensive layer. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do for this is we're going to start off by again building our very center line down the, uh, the gunship all the way toward the back there and then we'll break off to the sides there and slowly kind of build our way out. So starting off with we're going to go, and go on top of the sandstone top or the sorry this uh, spruce wood top set up in the front here. We're going to place down a spruce wood stair on top of it 
followed by a spruce wood uh, plank after the spruce wood stair. We're then going to place down a spruce wood upside down stair coming off the spruce wood plank, like so, with its uh, front kind of facing toward the rear of the gunship. Uh, we then want to place down a row of three of light gray, uh, or sorry, light blue stained glass, followed by a light blue wool block. We're then going to place down a row of five of sea lanterns, followed by a row of four of light blue stained glass, followed by a row of four of light blue or uh, just blue sea lanterns, or just sea lanterns in general, uh, followed by a row of two of light blue stained glass, followed by one, two, three, and four quartz top or full blocks with a quartz half slab on the end here, which should end on top of this narrow brick top slab like so. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and take place loader blocks. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and grab ourselves a very distinguishable uh, color of wool. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four. So you can see we're going to skip a space of four for this half slab. And we're then going to place down a quartz full block like so. And we can now delete these, this uh, row right here. So we're going to place down a quartz full block followed by two more after it. So you have a row of three. Followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six of these uh, quartz top slabs. Followed by a quartz full block. Followed by two light blue stained glass blocks. And then another quartz full block like that uh, toward the back. And that's going to do it for your center line. Now it's time to go ahead and build off to the sides. So... To start off with, uh, for the front up here, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair on either side of this stair right here. We're then going to place down another spruce wood plank on the back of this stair, followed by an upside down spruce wood stair coming off of it as well, just like we did for the center there. Uh, we then want to place down a light blue stained glass block on both sides. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a light blue wool block, place down a light blue wool block on both sides. We're going to need to grab ourselves a sandstone half slab again. We're going to place down a or sorry, just a stone half slab like that. Place it on both sides there. Uh, we're going to place down one and two light blue stained glass blocks back. Followed by one, two, three, and four uh, sea lanterns. Followed by a light gray or light blue stained glass block. We're going to place down a quartz full block. Or, my bad, it's actually a quartz upside down stair. Just like that. Uh, if it's back to this uh, block there in the middle. Uh, we then want to place down one and two. Uh, light blue stained glass blocks, followed by one, two, three, and four sea lanterns. We're going to place down a row of two here, or a row of quartz uh, full boxes that's going to go to the back. So after this uh, sea lantern, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six quartz full blocks going toward the back, followed by a quartz half slab on the end here, like that. Going back here to this uh, section here, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab coming off this first quartz full block right here. Uh, we then want to place down a uh, second or another quartz full block like this on both sides here, followed by a quartz top slab on either side of this full block right here. And uh, then we're just going to have basically a row of three of quartz uh, top slabs here. So we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six along the six quartz top slabs you already have placed. So we're going to have basically six rows of three here of quartz full blocks or uh, top slabs. Then when we get back here to this section, on uh, either side of this quartz full block here, we're going to place down a quartz uh, full block like this, followed by one and two back, just like that. With that finished, uh, going to our next row out, we want to grab ourselves a spruce wood half slab. We're going to place it down on top of this uh, top slab here, followed by a spruce wood uh, top slab after it come off the sides here of this row three of stairs. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some sandstone slabs, and we have this alternate pattern we're trying to show here. So. We're going to be kind of alternating blocks quite a bit here. So we're going to place down a sandstone top slab like that. We want to then grab ourselves a spruce wood top slab, place down a spruce wood top slab, followed by a sandstone top slab like that. We want to grab ourselves some smooth sandstone and also a sandstone upside down stair. We're going to place down a smooth sandstone block next to this top slab of sandstone right here, followed by an upside down sandstone stair that comes off of it to the side like so. Uh, continuing on uh, after this uh, smooth sandstone block. We're going to place down a light blue stained glass block. We're going to grab ourselves some sea lanterns again. Place down one, two, and three sea lanterns back. We're going to place down a smooth sandstone block, followed by a uh, stone slab full block like this, followed by another smooth sandstone block, a spruce wood plank, a sandstone block, and then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some sea lanterns again. Place down a narrow row four back, like so. We're going to need to grab ourselves quartz full blocks. Uh, again, and also some light blue stained glass. We're going to place down one and two light blue stained glass blocks back, followed by a sandstone 
Spoosy and Stone full block, followed by one, two, and three quartz full blocks back, and a quartz half slab there on the very end. Now coming off this uh, nether brick half slab or top slab right here at a bit of an angle, we're gonna place down two uh, nether brick top slabs like that, kind of coming off of it. Uh, after we have that done, we're then gonna go ahead and place down a nether brick top slab coming off this quartz full block here. Uh, we're then gonna go ahead and go all the way to the back here. We're gonna go ahead and go to this last row of three of uh, quartz full blocks, and we're just gonna place down a quartz full block like that on both sides of it, and then we just wanna place down a second quartz full block going back. Uh, we actually want to switch this full block out right here for an upside down quartz stair. So just like that on the back there. And uh, that's going to do it for this row. Uh, continuing on, uh, after this stair right here, we're going to take our spruce wood slabs. We're going to make two spruce wood planks like that. Followed by two sandstone, spruce sandstone full blocks. Followed by a uh, spruce upside down stair. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall on either side coming off this stone slab full block like that. We're then going to place down a sandstone up stair, come off the smooth sandstone block, followed by a total of one and two spruce wood planks. Uh, after we have that done, we're going to place down a sandstone, smooth sandstone block, followed by one, two, and three quartz full blocks. A smooth sandstone block, followed by a spruce wood plank, and then one and two smooth sandstone blocks go back. Followed by two quartz full blocks, and then a quartz half slab on the back here. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to this snare brick top slab here. We're going to place down a uh, their top slab that kind of comes off of it at an angle. Go down to the side. Uh, go ahead and then go to this top slab here. We're going to place down one more that comes off of it like so. And we also want to go ahead and skip a space of like one right here. And then we're going to place down two snare brick top slabs right there. Along these first two rows of three of uh, quartz top slabs. Uh, then going toward uh, the uh, back here. We're actually going to... We're going to uh, go ahead and take another narrow brick top slab, go off the, this row two here at an angle like that, going toward the back. And then uh, once we get to this point back here, we're just going to place down a quartz full block, come off this one right here, followed by a quartz upside down stair, like that on the back. Once you guys have that done, again, that's, done, that's it for this row, and let's go ahead and move on to the next. Alright guys, so for our uh, next row out, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone stair next to this spruce wood plank located right in this section here. Uh, we then want to place down a spruce wood stair after it, so you create a corner stair with that sandstone stair. And then we're just going to place down a spruce wood uh, top slab going back like so. Once you have that done, we're going to need to grab ourselves, uh, again, some quartz half slabs in the stairs. We're going to place down a half slab on top of this uh, upside down stair right here, followed by a quartz stair like that, followed by two quartz full blocks going toward the back like so. Uh, we're then going to place down a brick top slab coming off this quartz full block right here. We then want to go ahead and go back here to this row right here of nether brick. We're going to place that nether, nether brick top slab coming off of it. After we have uh, that done, we're going to go back to this top slab here. Place down one more uh, top slab of um, nether brick coming off of it like that. Followed by two quartz full blocks going back like so. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and basically again start kind of building off here. We're going to start to get into pretty much our ring section right here. So for this, we're going to place down a quartz top slab coming off of this quartz full block right here after the stair followed by one uh, quartz full block like this and we're actually placed a second one back like so um, and then we just want to go back here to this um, narrow brick you know top side right here we're gonna place another one that comes off of it like so and then back here for this section we're gonna go and do a very similar um, thing in which we're just gonna place down a quartz top side next to this quartz narrow brick top slab followed by another quartz top slab out like that and then a quartz uh, top side like so after this quartz full block uh, Continuing now to the sides here. Uh, we're gonna place down a quartz top set throughout this quartz full block uh, Followed by a total of three back of quartz full block. So one two and three back um, Actually my bad. Sorry just two back and then an upside down uh, Quartz stair just like that. We want to go and take our nether break again for this top side here place down one more that goes out like that We are going to go ahead and skip a space of two right here place down a quartz uh, upside down stair just like we did up there in the, the uh, front there we're gonna place down one oops my bad uh, we're gonna place down one and two uh, these quartz full blocks and then their quartz top slab on the end there like that uh, continuing down to the sides we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a quartz stair we're gonna place it down on the second quartz full block right here upside down like that followed by a quartz full block right next to the stair 
and uh, we're gonna just run a quartz a row of uh, quartz to the other side so we have one two three four five six and seven quartz full blocks and then another quartz upside down stair like that running across here uh, to connect the uh, two sides there and then on the very outside here we're just gonna go and place down uh, one block in the very center of that row is seven of quartz full blocks followed by one more block on your side and then a quartz stair on a your side just like that to kind of complete the uh, ring there and uh, once you guys have uh, that all finished that is going to nearly do it uh, on the inside here we actually want to switch these three quartz full blocks out for quartz upside down stairs just to make it look a little bit cleaner and nicer there and um, anyways once you guys have that done that's going to do it for uh, layer five with that let's go ahead and move on to layer six all right guys so moving on to our next layer we have layer uh six so for layer six we're gonna go ahead and start off by going to the spruce wood um full block right here after the stair and on top of it we're gonna place down a sandstone top sub so we have a sandstone top sub right above it like that so we should get a little uh half sub gap right in there after you have that done we're gonna place down a smooth sandstone block after this sandstone top sub followed by one two three and four of these sea lanterns followed by a total of five quartz full blocks followed by four sea lanterns followed by four quartz full blocks followed by two sea lanterns followed by four quartz full blocks and then a sandstone upside down stair that comes out on the end here so it should uh stick out basically one past this uh, quartz full block basically be on top of this quartz top sub if you went ahead and did that row right anyways after you have that done we can go ahead and go back here to this quartz full block right here and on top of it we're going to place down a spruce wood stair like this we then want to place down a spruce wood plank after the spruce wood stair followed by a smooth sandstone block spruce wood plank two smooth sandstone blocks spruce wood plank three smooth sandstone blocks spruce wood plank a smooth sandstone block and a sandstone stair on the very end like so which we actually can do that on the back there to make that uh, look a little better so we can delete that block make it kind of flow a little bit nicer um, on the back there anyways uh, with that finished we're gonna go ahead and go back up to the front and work on our next row uh, so with that uh, said we're gonna go ahead and go to the sandstone top sub up here place down a sandstone stair like down on both sides followed by a smooth sandstone block after it we then want to place down a total of one two three four and five sea lanterns followed by one two three and four quartz full blocks Followed by one, two, three, and four sea lanterns. Followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine of these quartz full blocks. We then want to grab ourselves some nether brick stairs. We're going to place down a nether brick uh, tops or upside down stair coming off this quartz full block so you have a little gap right in there. Uh, but then we're going to go ahead and place down a total of four of these. So we have one, two, and actually, my bad, three. A total of three of these stairs come coming out like this so it should stick out one past this sandstone upside down stair going back here to this uh, section here on either side of this uh, spruce wood plank here we're going to place down a spruce wood stair uh, we then want to place down a sandstone block on the other side of the sandstone block right here uh, we're then going to go ahead and grab our spruce wood planks again we're going to place down a we're going to place down a spruce wood plank on the other side of this spruce wood plank here followed by one more back we then want to place down two sandstone two spruce sandstone blocks followed by a spruce wood plank a smooth sandstone block, a spruce wood plank, a smooth sandstone block, um, and then a spruce wood stair, like that on the very end. Uh, we also, uh, yeah, that's actually it for that row. So uh, let's go ahead and move up to the front again. Okay, guys, so for our next row out to the side, we're going to go and take our sandstone stairs. We're going to place down a sandstone stair like this next to this um, smooth sandstone block. We're then going to place down a spruce wood uh, stair directly after it, like that, so we create a quarter stair. Uh, we then want to place down a smooth sandstone block, followed by a spruce wood plank, smooth sandstone block. Uh, we're then going to grab ourselves a sea lantern. We're going to place down a sea lantern, followed by one, two, and three of these quartz full blocks. We're then going to place down a smooth sandstone block, followed by a stone slab block on top of this one right here. Uh, we then want to place down a sandstone slab like this, a spruce wood plank after it, a sandstone full block or a smooth sandstone full block followed by one two three and four quartz full blocks back we're gonna grab ourselves sea lanterns place down one and two sea lanterns on top of that those two uh light blue stained glass blocks right there uh and then we're just gonna take our our uh, sandstone smooth sandstone we're gonna place down a smooth sandstone block 
followed by a spruce wood plank, and then another spruce sandstone block, like so. After that spruce sandstone block, we're going to take our nether brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of three of ups and down stairs, come off the, the other row of three. So we kind of create these half circles right here, um, coming off the back here, which are meant to represent some kind of gen engines or something like that. And then uh, to continue on this row, we're just going to go ahead and go to the back here, off this spruce wood plank here. We're just going to place down a nether spruce wood plank like that, followed by a sandstone stair on the inside here, um, just like that. And uh, with that finished, also on the back here, we want to place down a quartz uh, top slab, or half slab, sorry, coming off this uh, spruce wood stair right here. And after that half slab, we're going to place down a stair going back like so on the rear there. With that finished, let's go ahead and uh, move on to our next row. So for this up in the front here, we're going to place down a sandstone stair on top of this one right here. So sandstone stair like that. We're going to place down a spruce wood stair after it. So we turn this stair into a corner stair. Uh, we're then going to place down a sandstone stair, a spruce wood stair, and then a sandstone stair like this, followed by a sandstone corner stair after it. Uh, we want to place down a cobblestone wall coming off this uh, stone slab full block. We're going to place down a sandstone stair on top of this sandstone uh, upside down stair, followed by a spruce wood plank directly behind that stair. Uh, we then want to place down a row of one, two, three, and four of these uh, spruce sandstone blocks, followed by a quartz full block, and then we're going to place down a spruce wood uh, plank just like that, and then a um, sandstone, uh, smooth sandstone block like that. Coming off this spruce wood plank here, we're going to place down a uh, spruce wood half slab, followed by a spruce wood stair back, followed by a sandstone block back as well. Uh, with that finished, we're going to go back over here to this section, coming off this stair, this uh, sandstone stair to the side here, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank, and on top of this quartz up sandstone stair here, we're going to place down a, uh, or a um, sandstone stair just like that. Um, also in the back here, just so we don't forget to put these on, um, I just want to go ahead and do that now. We're going to go ahead and place down a quartz half slab that kind of comes up at an angle from that quartz stay right there. Uh, it kind of comes up like so. I'll kind of try to show you guys here a little bit better. Uh, it kind of comes up and goes out at an angle and then goes back one. So it looks something kind of like that in the back there. And uh, that's going to be on both sides there. So I just wanted to throw that in real quick just so I don't forget to add that on. Um, so that's uh, good for that. Let's go ahead and continue on. So uh, we have this whole front section up here done for this layer. So we're going to go ahead and go back to this section. So uh, on top of this sandstone uh, corner stair here, we're going to place down a regular sandstone stair like this, followed by a spruce wood plank after it, uh, one and two smooth sandstone full blocks, followed by a spruce wood up sandstone stair after it. So you can set that looks just like that on the side there. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go back here to these these uh, quartz full blocks right here. We're going to place down a spruce wood uh, half slab that comes off this spruce sandstone block. And then we just want to place down a spruce wood plank after it. Going back here, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our spruce sandstone. We're just going to place down a row of two of spruce sandstone blocks on top of those two quartz full blocks like that. We actually want to make one quick adjustment real quick. Uh, so for this, we're actually going to take this spruce wood slab here. We're going to replace that with a uh, spruce sandstone block followed by a spruce wood slab out to the side. Uh, we then want to place down a spruce wood plank right next to this one right here, followed by a sandstone half slab. Um, we can go ahead and grab one anywhere. I'm trying to figure out where I have one. There we go. Uh, sandstone half slab on top of this uh, quartz top slab like that. After we have that done, we're going to place down a row of two of uh, spruce sandstone. Just like that on top of those two quartz full blocks. Continuing to go back, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair here on top of this quartz stair, followed by a spruce wood plank after it like that. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a uh, spruce wood stair here on the inside, like that, followed by a spruce sandstone block here on the outside. Then uh, we just want to go ahead and place down a spruce sandstone block on the inside here, on top of that uh, quartz full block right there, followed by a uh, sandstone stair on top of this upside down, uh, this upside down sandstone stair right here. Uh, then on the inside here, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair, sandstone stair, and spruce wood stair. And on the backs here, we're going to place down a uh, spruce sandstone block and then two of these spruce wood planks like that. Uh, then for this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, a sand spruce sandstone block with a sandstone stair on top of the upside down quartz stair. Continuing on, we're going to place down a sandstone stair on top of this upside down quartz stair, followed by a sandstone block directly behind the stair. We then want to place down a spruce wood stair on top of this 
before it's upside down stair, followed by a spruce wood plank directly behind the stair. After we have that done, we're going to place down a row of two of uh, smooth sandstone full blocks, followed by a sandstone half stab, coming off of this block on top of the sandstone top stab. And then for this section right here, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank right there on top of that quartz wood full, full block. And then we want to go ahead and place down a uh, spruce wood slab on top of that quartz top slab like that. And uh, once you guys have uh, that all finished, that's going to do it for uh, layer 6. With that, we're going to move on to layer 7. Uh, these layers are going to start to get a lot easier. Uh, pretty much the main two bulk layers are out of the way. So with that, let's go ahead and start getting into uh, our uh, closing layers and pretty much get closer and closer to finish this build off. Alright guys, so going ahead and move on to layer 7. For layer 7, we're going to go ahead and start off by putting a spruce wood half slab on top of this very center um, smooth sandstone full block. So just like that. We then want to place down two sandstone half slabs back from it. We're going to take our smooth sandstone full blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six um, of these smooth sandstone full blocks. We're then going to place down a sandstone stair, followed by a uh, stone slab full block, like that. After we have that done, we're going to place down two spruce wood planks, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine of these uh, smooth sandstone full blocks. Followed by a spruce wood stair, a sandstone slab, and then a spruce wood slab, which should end on top of this quartz upside down stair. Um, and then on the very center row here, we're just going to place down a spruce wood plank on top of this one right here, where the stairs connect to. Followed by a sandstone half slab, spruce wood plank, or spruce wood half slab, uh, two sandstone half slabs, spruce wood half slab, three sandstone half slabs, spruce wood half slab, and a sandstone half slab, which ends on top of uh, this sandstone Spruce sandstone block that these stairs all connect to, um, just like that for the back there. With that finished, uh, going back up to the front here on top of this um, sea lantern here, uh, next to this sandstone half slab, we're going to place down a spruce wood half slab, followed by a sandstone half slab back like that. We then want to place down a sandstone stair, followed by a spruce wood plank. We're then going to place down one, two, and three smooth sandstone blocks, followed by a spruce wood plank, and then a sandstone stair like this. Followed by a stone slab uh, full block, a smooth sandstone block, and a uh, spruce wood plank like so. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and um, eight of these uh, spruce sandstone full blocks. Followed by a spruce wood plank, and then we want to place down a spruce wood corner stair, just like that next to this stair. Followed by a sandstone uh, stair, and then we're going to place down two. Uh, narrow brick stairs going toward the back. Uh, for our next row out, come off the front of the stair, we're going to place down a spruce wood half slab on both sides, followed by a sandstone half slab, followed by a spruce wood plank, a spruce sandstone full block, a sandstone stair, and then a spruce wood uh, corner stair plank like that, and then a spruce wood plank after the corner stair, and then we're just going to place down a stone slab on top of this row here stone slabs like that going up uh, we then want to grab ourselves a uh, sandstone slab again we're gonna place down a sandstone slab after this stone slab like that and then a spruce wood half slab like that after it we then want to place down one two three four five six seven and eight uh, smooth sandstone blocks followed by a uh, spruce wood plank like that a sandstone stair like so and then a spruce wood stair like that so you have a corner stair right there and then a spruce wood stair and then we just want to place down one and two, there brick stairs back, just like that. Uh, with that finished, this whole area up here is um, done, so we're going to focus on this kind of midsection right here. Now, coming off this uh, first smooth sandstone block, out to the side, we're going to place down a sandstone slab, followed by a smooth sandstone block, a spruce wood plank, like that, a smooth sandstone block, followed by a second one, a spruce wood plank, like that, and then a sandstone uh, stair, like that. So, and then uh, lastly, we just want to go and grab ourselves a few more slabs and stairs. We're going to place down a uh, spruce wood slab on top of this sandstone, spruce sandstone stair, followed by a uh, sandstone half slab, like so, and then a sandstone stair on top of this um, spruce wood upside down stair, just like that for the side there. Once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for uh, layer 7, and with that, let's move on to layer 8. Okay guys, so actually layer 8 is going to be our last final layer for the build altogether. Um, I actually thought there was one more layer after this, but uh, layer 8 is actually our last final layer. So 
uh, we're just gonna be going and basically completing the build. So for this, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off by going to the top section up here. Now we want to go ahead and go to our third full block in the very center row right here. Back, we're gonna place down two sandstone half slabs on top of these two blocks. So you can see we have these. We have this row of four. Um, actually, I think it's more of a row of six here of these um, sandstone, you know, full blocks here. We're gonna go ahead and go to the middle or the, basically the last four from the front. And we're going to go ahead and place down some blocks on these. So we're going to place down two sandstone half slabs like that, followed by two spruce wood half slabs after it. Now we're coming off this uh, first uh, half slab here of sandstone, we're going to place down a spruce wood half slab like this, followed by two sandstone half slabs, and then a spruce wood half slab like that for the front there. Very nice and simple. Now going back to this section here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a sandstone slab on top of this spruce wood plank right here. Uh, it's kind of part of this row of three right here, so we're going to place down a sandstone um, half slab on top of that followed by a um, spruce wood half slab on your side uh, like so and there actually should be a sand, uh, spruce wood stair actually right here we're going to break that block and actually that uh, half slab we're actually going to replace that with a spruce wood stair on both sides that should be on both sides uh, for some reason that didn't transfer over but anyways we want something like that uh, then going back from this uh, half slab in the center, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab, followed by a sandstone slab, followed by a spruce wood plank, sand, spruce sandstone block, two spruce wood planks, sandstone stair, and then a sandstone slab back. Uh, for our next row over, we're going to place down two more sandstone or er, spruce wood half slabs after this one right here, a spruce wood plank, um, a sand, smooth sandstone block, two smooth sandstone, uh, two more spruce sandstone blocks back, so you get a row of three here, and then a spruce wood spruce wood plank on the end here and then a sandstone half slab like that then continuing on to the sides here going off of this third and uh, last spruce wood uh, half slab we're going to place down a spruce wood half slab up to the side followed by a sandstone half slab we then want to place down uh, one and two sandstone half slabs like that followed by a spruce wood half slab and then a sandstone half slab uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to go and take a sandstone half slab and on this or sorry, spruce wood half slab on top of this smooth sandstone block that the stair connects to right here. We're going to place down a spruce wood half slab that comes off of it uh, like so. Anyways, once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for the Half-Life uh, Combine Gunship um, Aerial Assault Site. A uh, very interesting vehicle, again, a very unique one and a very just unique build altogether. Something different, definitely different and stands out from, you know, the typical kind of tutorials I do. Uh, so pretty interesting again a special thanks to the Red Deer for uh, sponsoring the channel and uh, you know making this vehicle possible uh, if you're interested in you know supporting the channel feel free to check out my patreon page and all that stuff link down in the description other than that if you guys do have use this design um, no matter what it's for I do ask that you guys give me credit for it this can be anything from the side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does occur on any social media sites just be sure to get proper credit for the build that's all I ask for when doing these tutorials it helps uh, my channel grow and it continues to keep uh, you know, be inspired to keep on building. So, uh, you know, feel free to give me credit for it. And uh, if you guys do, then you guys are free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And on that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.